Hello everyone, I'm Robert Welsh. And I'm James Welsh. <laughs> God, you're so happy, you're so overcome with emotion. It's just my big day Yay. in the 80s. Well, welcome to another historically accurate makeup and skincare routine. Mm hmm, mm hmm. And if you haven't already guessed, because I think it's very obvious, this is the 1980s, the decade we were born, just right on, right on the end. We are pretty much Gen Z. Right on the cusp. <laughs> <laughs> Dancing at what, what would be Marcus, my... put, put that music on and then make us out. Come on, Eileen. Oh, I was going to start singing five star then. Yeah, five star, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Something um, like that. Uh, if you can dance like the 80s, let us know down below. Let us know down below. <laughs> so, yes, we have our... Oh, you're doing this, sorry. Am I? What were you going to say? What are you going to say? Because I have nothing else to say. It's your wedding. It's your big day. Yeah, let me rest. Yeah, you have a crazy rest. morning. For you it. you sit pop. back. Yes. It's <laughs> just right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're going to talk about skincare. We're going to talk about the makeup, but we also have a little something at the end for you, which we'd love for you to take part in with us. Yeah, we're going to do a cup Jesus. around the dream food. Now, this is a little bit of a future version for the eighties, but yeah, <laughs> we have played the old version before. We're yeah. trying to remember who we got it from. I can't remember. He looks good. However, he dances. Except like this. Except to Agadu. <laughs> no, it's Agadu the 90s? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, my shoulder pads come on. We'll see. Okay, I'll leave that one out for Such now. a typical 80s problem. That was very ripe in the 80s. Listen, mm, yeah. let's get into it. Mm. I'm going to swap over to some glasses. Oh, but this is like daytime 80s, the other was more yeah. nighttime because <laughs> people wore sunglasses in there. And if you didn't know, people's hairlines in the 80s started Stop. very, far, <laughs> very down far down or down. very far back. Google George Michael. I, oh, and let's just also think about how Ashton made my um, veil. veil today. Yeah, it's really long. It's going all the way downstairs. Yeah, so I can feel like the bride. The, the Princess I am. Diana. Yeah, this is looking. No, I don't, I don't you dare. I was saying this is like inspired by her wedding dress. Absolutely <laughs> not. But this was someone's wedding dress from the eighties. Is it so actual? Thank you so much for lending it, it to me. It's an actual eighties wedding dress, and I feel so bad that this is how it's being used. <laughs> Imagine you're at the altar in your wedding day, like someday, someday, somewhere. This is going to be passed down to centuries of family members, and then it's you <laughs> doing this. <laughs> Okay, listen. Yes. I brought over my caboodle <laughs> um, to share some of, some of the most popular items in beauty and skincare. This might be a sewing kit for some people now. Yes, um, it's an off-brand caboodle, but not everyone could afford branded caboodles back then. Yeah. Um, so, listen, skincare. There really was a lot going on back then, but... Teenage skincare was in its prime. The mm. adverts for teenage skincare was absolutely insane. We'll try and insert some if we can. I doubt they're going to copyright strike us from no, the 80s. Imagine. What, Laurel? When we talk teenage skincare, we are speaking stinging. It's stinging, it's working. Fizzing on your skin, menthol, peppermint, alcohol heavy teenage skincare. Mm. Burn the acne away. Get that face, face off your, off own your face. face. <laughs> so. How exciting! None of it fits in the top bit. So let's oh. go into my caboodle. So let's talk about cleansing yeah. first of all. One of the biggest brands, one of the biggest cleansing products that it ended up being was, of course, Noxzema. Um, initially, it was made as a sunburn cream, and then it was targeted as a um, medicated shaving lotion. Oh, so they're just changing. They're just what changing it. They want it to be. Exactly, and it is now. Then it was an eczema cream. It actually had the name No Eczema. Ah, you know Americans say eczema. We say eczema. We say eczema. Um, or eczema. Eczema. <laughs> and now it's a deep cleansing cream that is apparently can help remove your makeup. Now, the different levels on how I don't trust this, mm. because, I mean, that's like me being like, oh, look at this uh, food I made. Oh, mm. actually, no, it's not food, it's shampoo. Yeah, well, it was actually invented in 1914. Oh. Yeah, so it's kind of, it's been around for a while, so there's no lawsuits yet in the 80s. Um, so smell it though. Very medicinal. It's menthol and eucalyptus. Wow, so pungent. Yeah, both of them aren't really good for your most people's skin. Sorry, they this, can is, be very... this is what? Cleanser? Cleanser. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we're gonna do it. I'm just gonna concentrate on one area here. 
Okay. Yeah. I will use it on my nose, but only because I'm scared I'm going to get something in my hair and it's not going to come out. I'm not you don't want that on your again. wedding day. <laughs> so menthol and eucalyptus can actually be quite um, irritating for a lot of skin types because they're so... Can you feel that? It's that tingling. And I believe their catchphrase was something like, it fucking tingles. So tingle it's, it's fucking working. Away. Yeah, like tingle your skin clean or something like and that. And is this like a cold cream kind of thing mm. where you just wipe it off or? Supposedly. Can you feel it getting I can bits? smell it and it's got me here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, got yeah. me in my mesh. Yeah. My it, mesh this smells up. like a mix of cough medicine and Vicks vapor rub. Mm, that's exactly it. And Olbus oil smelly things. Yeah. Elbows. Elbows. Apply generously on a wet or dry face with fingertips or wet washcloth. Gently massage. Ugh, it's burning. So it's burning rinse yeah. thoroughly. God, it's really burning. Yeah, so that's, no, that's good, that's good. It means it's working. But it's it's not like a tingle. You know what it, it, it feels like when you use like, ow. So this is the thing, oh, that's that's they thing. say that menthol is meant to be soothing, right? And eucalyptus, it, 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 it has soothing properties, but that's not really Oh. You know, it's not really what people want in their skincare. Eucalyptus as well. It's supposed to be antibacterial and antimicrobial. Yeah. So that's good for acne. And it was like huge. It was huge in the 80s. Everyone was doing it. Let it begin. Let your best come through. It begins with the beauty that belongs to only you. So let it begin. Wash with medicated Noxzema skin cream every day instead of soap to really dig out oil and makeup. It's the best beginning for clean, clear, glowing skin. Let it begin. Beautiful skin. Let it begin. Beautiful skin. Let it begin with Noxzema. Right, next up, we are going to go in with... I think he's cracking at my back. It's probably just a dress ripping apart. Sensual Lives Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub. Huge. Oh, Huge in the 80s. In the tub? Who buys it, it used to be in a tub, oh. so we'll flash a picture of it here, but that's oh. what it used to be. Um... Mm, you can it's smell. Like, you can smell how dry it is now. I'm mm. not actually going to use this because I know it irritates my skin. Mm. I'm going to keep this as a body wash. Yes. Or well, or yeah. something to clean my bath. I can still feel my skin still tingling. I hate this so much. It feels hot. And people, this is a modern now day product. I mean, yeah, because yeah, I bought it like. Do well, you, got do it, like, people, a couple days ago. Do you use Noxzema? Do you use Noxzema? And if you do have eczema or acne, is it good for you? Is it not irritating with all those? I can't imagine that being nice on painful skin. We're not going to use this. Saint Ives people don't use it anymore because there's this assumption that it makes micro tears in the skin, right? So it's damaging for your skin in the long run because it is of its uneven exfoliating granules. Um, it went to court, didn't go through court because it was kind of oh, thrown out court because there wasn't enough evidence. Someone, Google, Jackie. I don't know, Google, <laughs> probably Jackie. Um, it was, she mistaked it for her coffee scrub. <laughs> um, and it was thrown out of court. So there's pretty much no real evidence that that's what it did. Mm. But you know, like physical exfoliators, as long as you're gentle, you are fine. Right, next up, Marcus, you're gonna have to edit a logo on this. Called it really still. Sea Breeze. It looks nothing like this. This is actually a clean and clear toner with Marcus putting the logo on top of it. Do put the logo on Marcus, it. do put it there. Um, but this is the exact kind of toners that are still around today. They're astringent toners. And again, this is another, the idea of sea breeze is that cooling sensation on your skin. See, there's a difference between something being cooling and hurting. Well, the thing is they're both the same ingredients. It takes the same ingredients to do it, which is menthol. Right. Would you like one? You like a piece? No, but I feel like my forehead could do with a good mm. stripping. Now, so. I'm not being funny, but this does have salicylic acid in, which is a BHA, so it's good for pores and blackheads and all that kind of stuff. And I have to be oh, honest really? with you, Bye. I don't hate it. Yeah, I used it like a couple weeks back. What? Yeah, and I don't dislike it. It does have that very alcohol heavy, God. instantly drying feeling. It hurts your eyes. This reminds me of being in a bathroom when I was like 15. Yeah. And being like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like in the corner of our noses. Yeah. But that was very much the idea back then, is drying out your Look acne, stripping away your acne, acne. 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 Tingling away your acne. If it's stinging, it's working. If it's drying, it's working. If it feels cold, it's coming off. It's coming off. If you think beautiful skin is only something you're born with, get wind of sea breeze. Beautiful skin can be a breeze with sea breeze. The antiseptic invigorates. Beautiful skin can be a breeze with sea breeze. Accelerates, cleans deep. Beautiful skin can be a breeze. Beautiful with sea breeze. 
Ivory skincare. Right, next. Why am I rushing through this? Yeah, I don't know. No, I'm scared. I just want to get to your wedding in time. <laughs> It's a very startling. popular product nowadays is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. It did have a slightly different name back then. Same formula, well they might reformulate it a few times, but the same kind of serum. There was a, actually there was a big boost of anti-aging creams and serums like Olay was a big brand back then as well. No, I this, I just, I will mention that this was gifted to me. I don't recommend it. Now, here's the really important part of your every teenage teen buffer skincare routine. I know, I don't know what they said in the 80s. Um, rad bitches. No, I don't know. No, I don't think they um, said Material that. bitches. Yeah, like, yeah, Louise. No. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> Just Louise. <laughs> Everyone was saying Louise. 80s Louise. Everyone was just walking around <laughs> saying Louise. The biggest part of any teen Rad Louise's routine was the lip smackers. Yes. Uh, which one are you going to choose? I'm going to have the Sprite. Is there Dr. Pepper? Oh, actually, there's a cherry. No, it's their Coca-Cola. Although, Dr. Pepper was the best-selling one at the time. Was it? Mm -hmm. I can imagine it tastes nice on the lips. However, American Dr. Pepper is so much nicer than Brit uh, like UK Dr. Pepper. It's because of our sugar tax, right? Like, the amount of sugar that they allow and stuff? No idea. Cherry. Here you go. Thank you. I'm just going to use a vanilla one because it's my wedding day. Literally, everyone was using these. Mmm. Ooh. I don't think they've ever stopped selling these, have they? No, I don't think so. Oh. Oh. Uh-huh. What a surprise. Well, it actually smells like it. Mm. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, it doesn't at all, but that it actually oh. tastes nice. I think my one does. There's one more thing we need to do before we head on out. Tanning was a huge thing in the 70s, right? Why? Massive in the 70s. And that definitely carried on into the 80s, where people did like that almost like fake tan, orangey mm -hmm. kind of skin. And it was kind of like being like, you know, in the truck. Malibu! Oh, if you're gonna but Xanadu. Xanadu! Xanadu. <laughs> um, so, one thing we have... Everyone's been commenting on my hair, I've noticed. Your hair looks comments, natural, even but though. highlighted. Yeah, yeah. And do you know why? It's naturally highlighted. What? Uh-huh. <laughs> Sunnin. <laughs> Sunnin. Sunnin. <laughs> this is um, a natural hair lightener. So we used to do this. It's we used to put lemon juice in our hair. And yeah. we used to like bleach our hair mm. by the sun. Actually, I'm just going to read the ingredients. Okay, so it's not as natural as, as we thought it was. Asbestos. Mm. Sun. <laughs> so, lead. So this is a mix of hydrogen peroxide um, and lemon juice to bleach your hair. Yeah. Do you want to... I do. If you could just fizz, fizz some Look, it and, I'll, and I'll... It really works. Your hair's light already. <laughs> Marcus, can you make this look lighter? <laughs> Add some highlights. Make it look like the sun's coming out my hair. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. On your wedding day. This pretty much is the same packaging as well. They've really not changed Smells much. good. Do you think? Yeah. I, if I was on holiday, I would spray back in my hair. <laughs> don't know what it is. <laughs> you don't have to be on holiday to use this. Wow. But you know what? That's it. That was the sum of the beauty trends of the 1980s. We could go, like, there were so, so many. Um, but I just want to play Dream Phone. Well, let's get on with the makeup. Let's get on. Can quickly. we please? Come on. So <laughs> this, <laughs> makeup was the time. It was the time in the 80s when brands started to hire, like, global makeup artists to do things Ooh. like tutorial VHSs and books and things like that. So we have a lot of, um, things to look at when it comes to the makeup. So I've chosen a few different techniques from a different artist and a certain look that maybe isn't necessarily a wedding day look um, because obviously I would be extra beautiful. Do, we're not gatekeeping weddings. We're not Do gatekeeping what you want wedding. on your wedding. This is more of a fashion... Fashion wedding look. look. So we're going to start in the order where I um, wouldn't use... I wouldn't usually do this, but we're going to do it anyway. And we're going to start by using a little bit of concealer or cover-up in stick form like this on our eyelids as a base for our eyeshadow and eye makeup, which I would never do in a million years. Can I do it on you? No. No? <laughs> I think I think the people would really like that. But we're this. using, no, you can't ruin my wedding day makeup. Are you kidding me? You just said it wasn't your wedding day makeup and then started gatekeeping weddings. This is how I want to look on my wedding. But literally the tiniest amount. Now here's the deal. In the 80s, a few things was going on, right? Mm. We have like the goth kind of 80 people. Sure. 80. They weren't 80. But they were in the 80s. We were in the 80s. And um, we have a more natural, like, sun kiss kind of look. And then we have a people that were going a little bit more, like, shocking. You right. know? Right. Like, um, they were copying trends. Cindy Lauper. Mads. Madge. Who's that? Madonna. Oh, okay. Are we calling her that? Madge. Sure. <laughs> 
Do you know what? A lot of um, celebrity fragrances really took off back then as well. Oh, yeah. Tell there was one, it. I can't, no, I don't want to, I can't remember now. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh. oh, I love it. Now, one thing I saw on a tutorial from a, a makeup artist at the time was the idea to use a foundation that was actually one shade lighter than your skin. That's a good idea. Because apparently it brightens, <laughs> the, I mean, yeah, it mm. brightens the skin. <laughs> right. And it also um, makes your eyes pop. And the way we're going to apply this foundation is actually just with a Q-tip. Wait, what do you mean? I'll you. Take this. Foundation is the one you put all over your skin, right? Correct. Won't you join me? But I don't know if I have the time for this. <laughs> well, we're going to get it on it quite roughly, and then we're going to go around with our fingers and give it a really blended look. Full coverage, absolutely not a thing. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay, that kind of makes sense then. Well, could have been, but well, not that I think it depends what style idea. you were doing. But everyday kind of foundation. And is this a tip from the stylist? This is a tip from um, shit. What's that magazine called? That short. One, Jackie. No, it's around Cosmo. Cosmo. Cosmopolitan. Yeah, but this is one of the tips from their artists, from a VHS. It was like, oh, get your style. And then they had a guy do like 20 different hairstyles, but it was all just looked the same. Now, do be careful of your um, wigs. wigs. <laughs> <laughs> so you can just go ahead and tap that in oh. with your fingers. God, we must do a photo shoot. Oh this. yeah, we must. I'm sorry, someone seems to be <laughs> moving metal moving outside. <laughs> it's not tapping in greatly, I must say. That could be that noxema. Yeah, it could be, you know. My skin does does feel, um, oh, oh, we've got to moisturize. Was there no moisturizer? Oh yeah, Seabreeze also <laughs> did a moisturizer. They did a whole um, skincare collection, all with the same thing in mind of that kind of menthol kind of like thing, sting your skin off and it will be better. Pretend we used it. Yeah. And all the adverts are very, um, oh, if you use this, you'll get a boyfriend kind of heavy. No. You know? But I feel like the 80s and the 90s were such a time where it was like, boys and girls, do you know what I mean? Yeah, like going um, to the park. What's the next step? No, I... I <laughs> No, it's okay. No, I do see what you mean. It's okay. Don't no, worry. I do. No, I just want to play true. <laughs> We're just going to take a little bit of concealer. Again. And use two little dots under the eye here. I think formulas as well. If you think of like the formula of concealer foundation, it's a lot different. Right. Again, it's like that, what I call 80s Avon makeup. Yeah. My beauty astounds me. Mm, it's because you're glowing from your wedding day. Within. So we were technically born in the 80s. We were technically born in the 80s. Technically because we were. Technically being we were. <laughs> but like, we were only alive for what, like, Not nine, even. nine months in the 80s? You don't so. even count when you're that old. No, that's saying people were like, I remember when we were like teenagers, we were like 80s bay, 80s children. Do you remember? Like we really weren't, we were raised in the 90s. We so were. like, yeah. But everyone was like, if you were, they did this really good marketing. It was like, if you were born in the 80s, let us know. It's like, well, fucking everyone. Everyone back then. <laughs> Unless they were like, you know, the last surviving Titanic woman. Okay, so let's move on to <laughs> blank. Yeah. Oh, can you, I can't lean over because my dress is going to Okay, what do you need? Can you just get two powder brushes? They're the ones that I don't look know round and purple. I'm going to let you decide what colour to go for, but I've chosen... Ooh, I want um, this, because I'm really into being tanned. Yeah. I'm going to go for this yeah. more sun -kissed. Listen, here's what we're going to do with this. We're going to aim for the top of a cheekbone. Now we kind of go like around here yeah. but we want to aim for the top right, right, right. bring it up right into the hairline right up here okay. we're also going to take some into the eye makeup a little bit later okay cool then... don't be shy now and then stop two fingers away from the nose we don't... why do my fingers look like I've got a filter goat doing this on them because <laughs> you're, you're shaking this wig it literally just Karen's over time that looks good. You done it really nice. Yeah. Real nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you're like, oh, you're like, oh, you're like, oh, you're like blending it. <laughs> Getting ready for my eighties wedding. <laughs> I don't know. Your, uh, your shoulders shouldn't be that loud. <laughs> What's that five star song? Uh, it's meant to be like all futuristic, but it's not. Oh. System Eddie. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's like, like bo boxes is that beep. People that move. It's like wired to a machine. It's like in like the <laughs> 90s when everyone's oh. was like, email my heart. Touch screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Text me your love. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sorry, I have to do this properly. No, it looks real good. Yes, these are the kind of wedding day pictures you're gonna see forever. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it looks good. It looks nice, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do like. I think I feel like that '80s blush kind of style is coming back. Do you know what really does add? <laughs> At the 80s look is the texture you can actually see on the skin from all this like. <laughs> <laughs> here's here's the thing about I the feel 80s. Like it's, mm. there's, there was like a, an experimental colour palette. Yes, there were certain um, uh, products were releasing more colour, mm. but it's more of a placement, like the placement of the blush, the way it goes into the brows, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> By the way, I haven't. Um, this keeps going, there's like a built-in boob cage mm, and it keeps giving me like really pointy boobs. Yeah, they look great. Thank you, thank you. But I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna look at a colour palette that's a little bit more purple and blues and pink. Oh, what a surprise. What a surprise, right? So what I'm gonna do, and maybe you can just copy me. Yeah, I can Take a brush that. like this. Yeah. And oh, where did I put that blush? And then with the, bl the blush I'm yeah. use, oh, maybe I can use this little mirror. We're going to take that through the socket, so like, right, but right up to the brow bone. Right, right, right. So right, almost right. like, like there's this. not a mirror on this. Have no, there isn't. Don't worry about being too. Just go a little bit crazy. Can you show me again. Okay, like this. And then just bring it outwards, like like through the. You can go through the brow up here as well. Right. I'm not being funny, but I can do 80s makeup. I think you can. I think you I know can. why? Because it's not like very precise placement. Right. You're saying you don't have to be good at, at not makeup. Not at all. Oh my god. No, why? I get it. Where are you going? Right up there. Like like right. Go right up to your brow, and then as you come out here, mm. buff it like like through the corner, the tail of your brow. Are we meeting up with the old stuff we did? Yeah. God, I don't hate 80s makeup I at all, don't you know. know. I actually kind of like it. God, that, that cinched my nose. Henty. A wig dropping. Wig hen dropping henty. henty. Bitch. You bitch. Snatching. Snatching. Wigs. Drama. Tea. Boots. The wigs. Boots. Boots of a room wigs. Wigs. Okay, but we do have to play Dream Foam. Yeah, no, we will play Dream Foam. Right, we'll I, play. Just, I just want to make sure... Marcus can skip through whatever he wants to. Okay, I just want to make sure we play Dream Foam. <laughs> right, listen, Dream Foam. I wonder what... So, right, you know, like, blue eyeshadow is a bit of a no-no like this in the 70s, uh, 80s, right? It was, mm -hmm. like, very plain and it looks very dated. I wonder if there's any looks from now that people are going to look back on and be like, why did anyone ever think that looked good? Everything, but it happens quicker, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, we look back at, like, some eyebrow shapes now and we're like, no, that were happening, like, like the last really year. Like, boxy. Yeah. Because I'm not being funny, but this... On, the, no, it never looked good. Didn't it, though? Well, I don't know. Oh. It looks really good on you. I really like it. It looks really good. I'm just going to take the, the, the blusher again. Mm -hmm. Let's go under the eye a little bit. Are you using the same brush that we just put the blue on? No, I'm using a different brush now. And then brows, while well, you're doing that, brows are very heavy and fluffy mm -hmm. and just filled in and really nicely groomed, not plucked or tweezed too much. Um, they were very thick, very um, like 90s mod, early 90s model-esque. We both have really thick brows already, so there isn't really much we need to do. But I'm just gonna grab a black pencil, go across the lash line, same underneath, but we're only taking it halfway across. Then what are you doing with it? I was going over with this brush and just smudging it. Oh, it doesn't seem to be smudging. It's very in place. Did you just use a brush that you use powder with? Yeah. That's why, because the powder's like setting it. Right. Smudging it. Oh no, I just ruined it. I'm just gonna leave it like that. There it is, that looks really <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just gonna go for a bit of mascara. Me scara. Me scara. And this is from Wonder Wonder Extensions. Well, that's the name of the thing. It's a little bit blue, so we're going to have a little blue mascara. Oh, cool. This is fun. It smells like paint. It smells like high quality wall paint. That's what mascara is like. Right, right. So color mascara was like all the rage again. Um, and also like just natural lashes. Full, full lashes were like fine, but it wasn't like a big deal, you know. There we go, Fenty. Fenty Han. Very quickly as well, um, we're just going to mattify our face. Oh no. I know, I'm sorry, Han. But it wasn't, I mean, even that's quite a bit. It was just light amounts just to mattify everything. Again, because I guess like the texture of the foundations and the formers mm. were like a little bit more matte. Well, that's the thing. Did they have like more advanced formulas back then? Like, did you have a choice? More advanced than what we've, any or... period we've done so far. Mm. But everything but... done so far is just made of olive oil. Yeah, like. true. <laughs> but um, other than that, they were get they were getting there like there were good options but not nothing right 
as personal as we have now. Yeah. Then we're just gonna finish up with a fuchsia lip with a good good bold lip liner. I'm gonna leave the lip because we need to take thumbnail pictures. Oh and yes, put sunglasses on. Yeah. Well, because you can fast forward us actually. <laughs> Yeah, everyone had windows back then. Just do do like some if you haven't already skipped it, like some fast, like eighties synth pop. Yeah. You know. You know that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they didn't do no, that. No, they didn't the do that. No. <laughs> they did this. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. This is how you smell in the 80s. <laughs> well, it was just episode of Smile in the same direction. Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah. Should we do a quick fashion show? No. Well, listen, that was it. Yeah, I think we both look great. Yeah, I think we both look. I look like Ellen DeGeneres. Better than. Better. Cause she is trash. Trash. <laughs> right, listen, dream phone. Let's call some adults. Let's call dress some adults dressed as teenagers. <laughs> Let's see, we have. Oh shit. <laughs> How many players are there? One, two, three, or four? Two. Tell them two. Speed dial, enter number one, Adam. 11, Jason. That's what? Called, I don't know, I don't know what's happening. Hey, what's up? I know where you won't be. I didn't hear anything, did you? No. Oh, we have a new message. Yeah. Oh, good. He hates the theater. So how do we know? Okay, let's call someone else. Ben doesn't look like a theater guy. No, should we call Ben? Yeah, fuck What's it. his number? Oh, no, I don't want to call. Five five five. Seven eight nine nine. Seven eight nine nine. Easy. Okay. Okay. Hi. This is Ben. Yes. Almost anything. Oh, he's going to text. He's oh. going to text us. Would I press the green? Yeah. He hates to eat fruit. Well, then he has bad problems, teeth. Problems. Problems. <laughs> we don't. Oh, we're not doing. Who phone. should we phone next? Let's phone Chris. <laughs> This is the same guy That's talking over and over. This person's catfish Something's us. not right. You'll never see him at the mall. Oh god, this person isn't fun at all, is it? No one's really, no one's really like... Let's phone Tom. Ah! Ah! <laughs> five, five, five. Oh, four, eight, eight, four. Right at most sports. He's alright at most sports. But he never plays baseball. I don't think anyone in England does. Right, one more, because okay. we've been weird. Oh, someone's calling us. <laughs> oh, no, you answer it. Yeah. It's not Nick. Who the fuck is Nick? Nick. Okay, we, we didn't care. We don't we don't know Nick. We didn't anyway. we want we want Chris or Tom or Jason. So it sounds like everyone's scheming against us to try and make us work out who fancies us. I know I feel like it's a joke. Yeah. I feel like nobody does. Maybe it's your husband trying to catch you out. Let's say we think it's Jason. Who's I think it's Jason. With a backpack. Um, his number is 555 mm -hmm. Call him Jason. Hey, what's up? I know where you won't be. Oh. What? what? That wasn't the story. Right, he hits, hits the theater. Okay, 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 there we go. Question mark. <gasps> Guess the admirer. 555. Five, five. Oh, Jason. Oh, is it none of them? We have too many numbers. 11, Jason. Jason, we think it's you. What's up? Sorry, it's not me. That's so, hang up, hang up, hang up. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. So embarrassing. Well. <laughs> That's how you play Dream Phone. Everyone's doing the ads. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed this um, makeup. Uh, what did we just do? I can't remember. Historically accurate skincare and makeup presentation of from the eighties. Were you in the eighties? Are you in eighties? Let us know. Same. Oh, uh, what were we gonna say? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs>
<laughs> haven't got any <laughs> any news. No. Oh, a, a merchandise. Shop below. Down below. <laughs> um. Um. You can also find us at yeah. me, James Welsh, here on YouTube. And Instagram, James underscore S underscore Welsh. Got TikTok? Yeah, but uh, it's, um, TikTok's the same as Instagram. Sure. You can find me, Robert Welsh, on here. <laughs> You can find me, Robert Welsh, here on YouTube for more um, makeup content and at Robert WLSH on Instagram and Robert Welsh anyway on TikTok. Now, we have to go and call the <laughs> guys. <laughs> call Bye, everyone. Bye. That's gonna have some. I got some eighties. Um, potato oh, jelly. Prawn cocktail. Prawn cocktail. <laughs> prawn cocktails. Pineapples and cheese. Yeah. Pineapple hedgehog. Pineapple what, cheese with, hedgehog. with the Marcus put an eighties buffet. Here. Yeah. Chicken. Oh, pretend we're eating from a. <laughs> wow. What a great wedding day it's been. Congratulations. I, thank you so on much. Day. It's the eighties. It is. I haven't lived in a very exciting time. Yes. Yeah, so not much happened, and you are married.